So welcome back to another exciting Procreate tutorial video and today I'm going to start off by showing you a really exciting simple tip that will make your artwork make people go wow. So all you have to do is click on the tool, the spanner at the top, click video and then click time lapse replay and this will show you all the steps you took to create your epic masterpieces. You can save these time lapses onto your camera roll to share on social media and with your family and friends. But it's really good because it shows you all the steps you take when you make your epic artworks. So as you can see, I'm doing all the things I've taught you previously, drawing in a different colour first, going over it in ink, and then adding colour, and then going in with an extra paintbrush to add depth and shadows. As you can see, it looks really flashy the way it does it. It's so fast. As you can see, I'm doing the background, about to mess with the perspective blur like I showed you. As you can see, it's a nice little tool that you can use. So, one thing you might be interested in knowing how to do is if you want to make your characters speak, you may want to give them speech bubbles. Well, that is a fair... This is combining a few different things we've learnt so far. So what you do... Draw your circle and let it straighten like I've told you before. So once you've drawn a circle, just keep your pen or your finger on the screen and it'll make a perfect oval or circle. Grab your white, fill it with white. And then make sure you've got your ink pen, select black. And now this is where you can draw your tail onto it. Select white again. This is another thing you can do, is select your finger over the screen, keep holding it down and move it about, and you can select any existing colour on that page. So if you've moved on from a section and you want to get that colour again, hold your finger on the screen, go back to the relevant colour, like I'm selecting in white here, and then you've got it back, and you just drag and drop, or you can start drawing in white, as you can see. So then what I do, this might be a bit amateurish, but I don't know a better way, and you go over that little black line. And there you have it, the perfect speech bubble. And now obviously we just go to add text, select black. Remember, recap here you can change the size and you can also change the fonts so that it just adds a bit of extra pizzazz to your work also I'm going to show you something else that is super duper exciting I'm going to select Sven here. You can click clone. And what you can see here is basically you've got this circle that you can select any point on your drawing. So I'm going to select Olaf's nose. And wherever else I draw with my other pen or finger, on my iPad, it's going to replicate. Throughout my image, as you can see, I'm drawing Sven everywhere. This can be particularly useful if you just want to replicate a particular section of your image. As you can see, I'm drawing Sven again perfection on a plate 